Yo, what is up, Patreon crew? Welcome to the channel, everybody. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, my name is John Slop. Uh, we react to music, we review music, we listen to everything, dude, under the golden sun here. Uh, I'm a millennial who likes to go back in history and just look at what music has impacted the world. That's what we like to do on this channel. So just sit tight, get yourself a snack, and we're about to we're about to jump into some cool tracks here. I'm not sure exactly what just yet, dude. We have our Patreon list that we're about to bring up here. So, uh, again, just check out patreon.com slash John Slop if you want early access to these videos and if you want to help support the channel, dude. Also, be sure to leave a like if you are enjoying the content here. So, uh, next up, let's do something from uh, Jason... Unger here, your second track, your second request for the month. Let's see what is up, friend. It might start playing on its own here. Elliot Smith, a fond farewell. Dude, didn't we do some Elliot Smith already? Oh, I think we did. Did Heat Misers, right? Uh, yes, yes, I am correct. We just listened to a Heat Miser track. I'm pretty sure that was also from Jason, so again, thank you so much, Jason. Really appreciate you. Long-time Patreon member. Uh, again, that's patreon.com slash John Slop if you also want to become a Patreon member. So, uh, we've checked out one track so far, and I was digging it, dude. Let's see what uh, else Elliot Smith has up for us, dude. A fond farewell, in parentheses, from a basement on the hill. Uh, okay, and I guess that's what the album is called. Uh, oh, no. So, just the, the parentheses are meaning that's what the song is from. From a basement on the hill. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so, everybody, Patreon crew, thanks for again for coming. Let's take a hit, dude, and get on into this track. I have no idea what this is going to sound like. Uh, did this even come out? Um... Elliot Smith, A Basement on the Hill, 2004. Again, rest in peace, Elliot Smith. We learned in our first reaction that he passed in 2003. Um, so rest in peace, dude. We're going to be listening to your music. So uh, rest well. So again, let's take it and jump on into this one. Okay, real quick, I'm enjoying this song. It's so, like, pop rocky. It has a nice cadence to it. Um, again, when I say soft, I mean, like, soft, like, vocals, right? It gives just a really relaxing tone to the song. And um, a fond farewell. Uh, the lyrics seem kind of a little, a little melancholic. We'll check them out after the song, dude. Uh, but I'm enjoying it, dude nice like pop rock but soft yeah i just want to tell you all real quick about patreon at patreon.com slash john slop you can find full album reactions like revolver by the beatles fragile by yes and even the full length film of the beatles a hard day's night and much much more 
So go on and think about that, and let's get back to the reaction. Disconnecting from the missing link This is not my life It's just a fond farewell to a friend It's not what I'm like It's just a fond farewell to a friend I couldn't get things right A fond farewell to a friend The only things that you really try This is not my life It's just a fond farewell to a friend It's not what I'm like It's just a fond farewell to a friend You couldn't get things right fond farewell to a friend was awesome dude elliot smith a fond farewell it's just a fond farewell to a friend i like that like that was really catchy poppy i would definitely listen to this again like if you if you hear me humming along to this you'll know why because i'm playing it regularly in my playlist on spotify elliot smith a fond farewell let's check out the lyrics see what the song's about see if we can find out dude Going to Reliable Old Genius, dude. Not sponsored. The light bright's now black and white. Wow, a light bright reference. What? I've literally never heard a light bright be referenced to. You know what a light bright is? Like those plastic toys that you put the little pegs in, dude. And then you turn on the switch and it lights up in different colors, dude. The little pegs are different color, dude. Yeah, you can make cool things uh because you took apart a picture that wasn't right pitch burning on a shining sheet the only maker that you want to meet a dying man in a living room whose shadow paces the floor who will take you out any open door um yeah i'm not like quite sure what this is meaning so far it's very poetic though uh wow this imagery is pretty great um let's see what the people on genius have to say about this um, this guy wants to die alone. He lets his shadow show out those who have come to see him, preferring to die uninterrupted and uncared for. Further, the doors are open, signaling he's given up, holding personal boundaries. Whoa. A dying man in a living room. One of Elliot's best plays on words. I love how somebody pointed that out. A dying man in a living room. I love that. That's really nice. Sometimes you do have to have stuff pointed out to you to realize and acknowledge, like, the coolness. Like, whoa, I would have totally skipped over that. Thank you, 10 envelopes on Genius. Uh, getting into the course now. This is not my life. It's just a fond farewell to a friend. 
It's not what I'm like. It's just a fond farewell to a friend who couldn't get things right. A fond farewell to a friend. Uh, what do you have to say about this? Smith is saying that this recent lapse of heroin use isn't how he plans on living forever. He's just saying goodbye for one last time. He refers to heroin as a friend to whom he is bidding this final farewell. Wow, so the song's about heroin? Maybe we should go back and look at what people have to say about the earlier parts of the song. Oh, wow, there's lots that people have said. Um, ah, pitch burning on a shining sheet. This person says this may very well refer to the fact of smoking black tar heroin. The heroin, which true to its name looks just like tar or pitch, is placed on a sheet of aluminum foil, a shining sheet, and then the foil is heated from underneath with a flame, and then the flames, and then the fumes are inhaled. Whoa. Wow, this is like blowing my mind how deep this track is, dude. I, like, I love the poetry. Pitch burning on a shining sheet, like, even though it's so, like, morbid, right? But it's like, you gotta love the artistry in writing this. Holy crap. He said, really, I just want to dance. Good and evil match perfect. It's a great romance. Uh, just keep in the balance of, like, good and evil. Not sure. Drug Addicted Self wants to keep the dance going, arguing that they can keep up an existence that mixes sobriety and addiction, being high with the repercussions of drug use. Right? I imagine your mind does get to that point, right, with addiction and stuff like this. Like, you're like, well, I don't want to die. I want to keep going, dude. I want to balance this life. I, like... I mean, I've never gotten in this deep or anything like this. I've never done heroin, dude. I don't plan to. Sounds like one of the most addictive, life-ruining substances ever. I'll stick to, like, weed for now, dude. I, in, yeah, yeah, no. I, this just seems really scary. Um, uh, all I can deal with, and I can deal with some psychic pain if it'll slow down my higher brain. Okay, things are becoming clearer now, dude. You can deal with some psychic pain if it'll slow down my higher brain. Meaning, you can deal with some, like, tormenting, uh, like, highs? Like, 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 if you have a bad trip, right? You're willing to deal with that bad trip in lieu of maybe not dealing with the demons so to speak like 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 the the intrusive thoughts maybe uh you know the the other mental illnesses you may have oof uh, veins full of disappearing ink uh wow vomiting in the kitchen sink disconnecting from the missing link this is not my life it's just a fond farewell to a friend uh, I see you're leaving me and taking up with the enemy, the cold comfort of the in-between. A little less than human being, a little less than happy, than a happy high, a little less than a suicide. The only things that you really tried. Ooh, what do you have to say about this? He feels that if he doesn't do drugs, he can stay in a comfy state where his life is devoid of anything but a neutrality that leaves him emotionally cold. Something in between the extremes of drug abuse or suicide which have become the only two viable options in his life. Without those two, he feels less than a human being, probably because of his loss of feeling when sober. Uh, he wraps it up by sort of blaming himself that he didn't give any other options a try, which is what leaves him in this trap that he has created for himself. Wow, this, this is so, like, sad, dude. This is... Definitely like a cycle of drug abuse that can affect the most vulnerable, dude. If I'm sorry if like getting into this has like like messed up anybody. I know this is like a tough subject. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a warning uh, for this one on um <laughs> for the lyric section definitely. So yeah, I'm gonna try and edit this. So yeah, warning. This lyric section contains some mentions of like suicide drug addiction self-harm just like <laughs> a bunch of uh 
just messed up stuff that is very well written right so i i appreciate the artistry here i really really do um just not everybody's in the right headspace to deal with this stuff you know what i mean so just need to give that warning so thank you again jason a powerful piece of art that has just been a great start to this session holy crap what did what did you think thank you for sharing friend i really really appreciate you um so yeah we're just gonna move on into the next patreon request thank you again jason everybody give it up for jason in the comment section